Outlander, a word. By order of the Deputy Governor of Sedanine, which happens to be me, the lighthouse is closed until further notice. On the other hand, I seek an Outlander who's willing to do a little work. I need someone without ties to the area to look into a matter for me. It seems the lighthouse was broken into. The flame was extinguished. As a result, a ship crashed along the shore. There were fewer bodies than expected, both living and dead. I suspect slavers were involved, which means they had help here in town. I find that unacceptable. Discover who doused the lamp fire. They'll lead us to the slavers. Question Downs, who was on duty that night. He's in the lighthouse. I need to check in with the Overseer. His workers are searching the wreckage, and I want to know what they've uncovered. By the time we were alerted and had organized a response, precious moments had been lost. We rescued a few, but mostly we found those who were drowned or were crushed on the rocks. Even so, it was nowhere near the numbers a ship like that carries. No one's allowed up here. She asked you to... an outlander? Isn't it enough? She stuck me up here to guard the flame indefinitely, but now she's looking for help outside the house guard? <sighs> what else can I expect after what happened the other night? Finden sent a barrel of his finest ale for Watch Captain Bethes' birthday. Powerful stuff. One cup and we could barely keep our eyes open. The entire regiment was knocked on its collective arse. When I came to my senses, I saw that the fire had gone out. Look, once I heard the crash along the shore, it was all I could do to get moving and raise the alarm. Cherish's water loves to loiter near the lighthouse. Maybe she noticed something. If you're intent on doing your job, you should talk to her. Your dirty foot coverings are contaminating my pond. So direct you are. It makes my tongue wither and the answers dry up in my mouth. Go and bother someone else with your parching questions. No! There's no need to involve the governor's deputy or the house guard. When they start breathing down my neck, my scales shrivel right up. I did notice someone near the lighthouse that night. You keep asking the wrong question. I did not see anyone that night. I felt them. They made ripples in the water. I felt them stuck by the tree that overlooks my pond. Then they moved off towards the lighthouse. Look to the tree, moist one. I prefer my waters to remain still, calm. Crying causes ripples, and ripples lead to more dry questions. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to look around. Keep it down. We don't want to attract undue attention. But what happened? I thought I was supposed to go to the drop. You didn't come all this way just to give me my reward, did you? Already? Let me see. 
Oh, it's beautiful. I love working for the Tribunal. It's so much better than trying to earn a living as a thief in Vivek City. But where's your helmet? I've never seen an ordinator out of uniform before. Oh, right. We're not supposed to talk about ordinators in the Tribunal in such a public place. But it feels good to be doing holy work for a change. And such a simple task, snuffing out the lighthouse flame. I mean, um, see thee is the ending of words. You showed those wood orcs! It's what they get for betraying. I hear. Unfortunately, the wreck of the vessel provided no additional clues. Were you able to discover anything during your investigation? The young woman who works with the grocer? I doubt the tribunal would ask her to do something so reckless. Do you have any proof other than her word? Hmm, this is disturbing. This parchment feels just like the sheets that Governor Emilian special orders from High Rock. I'm going to need you to acquire another sample from the governor's office. It's the only way to be certain. Not the office. He keeps it in his private quarters, accessed through the guardhouse. But I'd never suggest that you sneak into his quarters and steal a blank sheet of his special parchment. That would be against the law. Do you understand me? again. So tell me, you didn't do anything unlawful now, did you? That's odd. We haven't done a search of Fire Moth Island since Governor Emilian declared that the House Guard was better used patrolling farther up the coast. And these parchment sheets definitely match. This is very disturbing. What I think doesn't matter. We need evidence, but we also need to launch a rescue. Slavery is illegal in Pact territory. It's time to visit Fire Moth Island. Hopefully, somewhere along the way, we'll find more proof of Governor Omelian's ties to all of this. Attack before the soldiers have been assembled? That's not a prudent course of action. We need to muster our forces, make plans and contingencies, unlock the armory. What was that? That's a distress signal, and it came from Fire Moth Island! No time to prepare. We have to rescue the slavers' prisoners. Soldiers, to the ships! We sail for Fire Moth Island! What do you want? <laughs> 